I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm joined with two lovely ladies today in the studio to continue our shanty spotlight. Of course, we're talking about the Hyannis High Art Shanty Program down on Ocean Street, Hyannis Harbor. And we have a special organization coming in this year to the shanties. Actually, it's the second year, Tessa. I have Tessa and Tobey joining me from Cape Cod Can. Yes, so um, I'm the art director with Cape Cod Can, and Tobey is our administrator. And um, we're also both teachers that are involved. Um, Cape Cod Can, it's the Cape Cod Collaborative Arts Network, um, is a nonprofit organization under the sponsorship of VSA Massachusetts and the Seven Hills Foundation. Um, and we offer a variety of programs in the arts, from theater, dance, to visual arts. And now um, this will be our second year in the shanty. We have almost um, 100 participants this year that will be selling their artwork that they've been creating with their teachers. And it's a variety of artwork. It is, yeah. It's a vast variety. We have watercolors and mosaics, media. stained glass, and even garden, garden art items, and decoration. Bird and houses, I think you said. Yeah, all one group made work. their own bird houses. I guess really, you know, built them themselves. So that's going to be exciting to yeah. see. And these are a result of, as you were mentioning, the different programs for the art focused program. You do different projects each week that the, the participants, whether it be visual art or one of these other projects. Right. For example, um, we have about 10 organizations that are involved right now um, and with the 100 participants, but all being taught in their different art classes. And so they get to create whatever um, items that they would like to create to sell in the shanty um, or whatever their teachers are offering because a lot of our teachers are artists themselves so they have their specialties that they share with their students. It really is amazing to see the power of the arts and that self-expression and how um, they, they grow. I'm sure you see it from week to week. Yes, yeah, yeah. They get that feeling of creating it themselves with no help from anybody right. else. And they're in charge of that whole piece. They make the decisions. If the sky is going to be green, it's going to be green. Right. You know? Right. It's, Art is it's just empowering. Right. It's a very empowering process. Um, you know, for, for anybody that takes the time to give themselves, um, whether it's a creative hobby or it's art or it's, it's that self-reflective time for expression and navigating through the creative process, it really allows a person to really develop and share something about themselves that um, maybe they weren't going to do before. Right. Yeah. And after they create, they're more sociable in the group, too. So that's nice to see, too. That is nice to see those connections. We talk about that even down at the shanties, the friendships formed from artist to artist yeah. and, and share their work and share what it means to them and, and even find another way to express themselves, try something completely different from what they're comfortable with. So at artists and artists in these programs as well. And as you say, they really, truly blossom. Now, I know you've brought some work with you from some of the artists that we can talk about. We actually have a special guest in studio, uh, Virginia Buckley, who's going to tell us a little bit about her work and what that means, wh why she likes creating and, and doing. So okay. let's bring her on board. And this is Virginia, and she is from Capabilities. I teach um, the Cape Cod Can classes at Capabilities. And everybody's allowed to express themselves in their own way. And Virginia, do you want to talk about your painting? Yes. This is, this is the... Um, this is the beach, and this is set the stars at night. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, some classes, I give a little bit of a direct directive and say, can we do like something focused on the harbor or the sea? And everybody takes it to a different point. Um, these are some paintings that were done by artists that were all giving the same directive, but they all came out with a different product in the end. So I love everybody being an individual and celebrate that. Um, and Virginia, what is your favorite uh, medium to work with? Clay. Yeah. What have you made with clay? I made, a, um, I made something, I made a face like, uh, like a the face of my dad. Yes, you did. And also the can I was, I was candlestick actually, for my niece yes uh, for her wedding it for her beautiful. wedding I forgot about your dad that was nice and which is your favorite medium the painting or the clay the clay yeah a lot Why? of people like yeah does it make you feel good yes it is there's something therapeutic of just even touching the clay the first time I used clay in the classroom I gave each person a piece of clay 
and I was I, w I wished I had photographed it because an instant smile was on their face when they started working with clay. So everybody looks forward to that and jewelry making. Yeah. Yeah. But I love your painting. Thank you. So it was nice to hear from Virginia. And again, just what we've been talking about, why it's so important to have these programs that brings the, uh, the community together. And I want to just end with a community project. It will be um, on display for all to see starting at the end of June at the um, Transportation Center here in Hyannis, which I, it's a beautiful welcoming to those coming through the Transportation Center. But it wraps up what we've been talking about as far as the programs and the power and the impact. So let's just um, share with our viewers about the mural sure. project. Um, yes, so last fall through the um, Cape Cod Cans Art Program, we organized a collaborative project between 150 participants and 14 different organizations um, where we created a mixed media mural that we've called um, Bringing Cape Cod Together Piece by Piece. And it really has done that between all the people that have been involved. And it has done that literally too because the finished mural will be nine feet by eight feet. And Stunning. it's actually composed out of 300 six inch by six inch square tiles. So literally it'll be coming together piece by piece, but really by the hands of all these people that have been involved and with the support of the community, the teachers, the staff. Um, it's been an amazing project. Um, we're so excited to reveal it and have a grand reception at the Highness Transportation Center on June 24th. It's a Wednesday at 4 p.m. Um, that's where we'll be able to celebrate everybody's accomplishments and achievements and to see just how beautiful um, this piece has really grown. All right, the piece and the program, I mean, Cape Cod Can is a wonderful organization bringing all these together and, and sharing in the arts. Um, you can get more information on the website, which is? Which is capecodcan.org. And you can visit Tessa and Tobey and meet perhaps some of the participants. So you said you know, there'll be photographs of them, but I'm sure over the course of the June weekend, they'll be coming through to see their work yeah. on display and for sale. So thank you so much for sharing as a part of our Shanty Spotlight, and I appreciate you coming in. Thank you for, for having Tessa, us. Thank yeah. you. For Tessa Tobey and Virginia, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day.